Okay, guys. Hello. Welcome to our focus group Zoom. Um, like I said, we're flying through these. Today is already, I cannot believe we, I feel like like February, March, April, well, especially March and April, like dragged by. I feel like May has been like flying by. I mean, I don't know if it's because like I have things planned and it's just like one thing after the other, but May seems to be going by really quickly for the Regans. So um, it is Memorial Day weekend and I'm super, like I didn't even realize when we planned this. So I'm super appreciative that you guys are on this and glad that it's first thing during the day so you can get the rest of your weekend on and popping. Um, so we only have a few left, which is, which is good. I feel, I hope that you guys have had some kind of takeaway from this, even if it was from one video, even if it was from, you know, what Kristen said when she came on, no matter what it was, I just hope that you got something out of this to either help build your confidence as a leader, give you a little bit more insight or clarity just to kind of help you along. And when all of these are over, like completely over, all of our Zooms are done. I do want to ask each of you to come live in the group and just share, like take some notes, sit with yourself, think about it, and um, share what you have gotten out of this and where you really plan to move forward, what you're implementing. Because as we talked about uh, last week, or no, as we, yeah, last week when I had to come live um, on the page, taking action, all of this is nothing if we're not taking action, I mean, truly, like you don't waste your time. Um, and trying and moving is so much more valuable than feeling like you have to wait to know it all. There's no such thing. Like I, I don't know it all. The only reason why I'm here and can tell you guys these things is because I've listened to the people before me. Like when I do coaching calls with Jen or, you know, when I'm talking to Kristen, I literally hear what they say, it resonates, and then I try it. And, you know, I, I do the trainings and all that stuff, but I also try, even if I fail. And I have. And trust me, you will too, but don't be scared of that. So today we're going to talk about maintaining. Um, so this all is this all goes hand in hand with each other. Um, we've, we talked about building and recruiting networking, which is just as important as building. Like we can't build if we're not networking, how are we growing our circle? How are we growing our audience and the people that we are connecting with if, if we're not networking? Okay. So it all goes together, building, recruiting, and networking. It all goes together. Um, then we talked about educating and training. Once you start building and networking, you bring people on board, you then have to train and educate them to help them along and help them hit their goals. Um, and also train and educate yourself to be able to train and educate them. Um, and then next is motivating and inspiring. Once they're here, um, you know, how do you keep them going? The momentum, how does, how does that, you know, how, how can we help our team stay motivated? How can we help ourselves stay motivated, okay? Um, and it's, it's self-motivating. This is a self-motivating business, but they, there are definitely ways to combat that um, when you're feeling unmotivated. And it's only something that you know um, what works for you. And, um, you know, working your business first and foremost and building your truths and credibility um, is how you can inspire your team to keep moving. Um, and then a few days ago, we talked about action, implementing all of this stuff. Okay, so putting it into action, implementing it, you know, making moves and seeing results. Okay, um, now we are talking about maintaining. How do we maintain? We, we're promoting, we're building. I mean, things are looking good, right? So how do, how do we continue to do this month after month after month after month? I mean, we will have like the best month ever, right? You like, okay, say it's like mid to late month. You're sponsoring, you've sponsored three people, your PRV is like, you know, 2000 and you're like, oh my gosh, amazing month I had. And then it starts over like two weeks later or a week later, you're back to zero and you're like, I just sponsored two people. I just hit 2000 PRV. Like the workstation doesn't care. Like you start back over. <laughs> so that's why it's so important that consistency is huge with maintaining, okay? Consistency is key. And all of these things that will help you maintain, will help you grow and build a successful business are things that you already have. 
This is a learned business, number one. And number two, everything that you need to be successful, you have inside of yourself. You got to just tap into it and become the best version of yourself. Okay. So don't feel like, you know, she has something I don't, or, you know, she has, this does not require an education, um, you know, uh, uh, regarding sales or recruiting, none of that. Everything is learned, okay, through action. So we are doing the same things over and over and over again. And sometimes it feels mundane. And sometimes it feels like, I don't want to do this again. I just did this. But honestly, you guys, it's something that you got to come to terms with. <laughs> and as soon as you do, you're just like, well, this, it is what it is. Like if you go to, if you go to work and you go to a nine to five, like you have a role, you have a job description, right? Like this is what you do. And there's multiple different positions and, um, you know, job descriptions, say in your company, right? And you don't do what somebody else does and somebody else doesn't do what you do because you have your own job description, right? And that's the same thing with this business. This is your job description. This is what you do, right? But trust me, is is crazy, mundane, like I'm over this as it may feel sometimes. I personally would much rather invest and stay consistent with this and work 30 hours a month and be 10 times more successful than I would working a nine to five, working 40 to 50 hours a week paid salary. I would much rather invest my time into this and make my own schedule. There's so much freedom that comes along with what we're doing here. So, you know, you are always first and foremost a consultant your own consultant. Before you're a leader, you're a consultant, okay? You are your own business. And you're, you guys here in particular are leaders and that is part of your job description and we're going all of the things that entail that, okay? So consider those your job description. That's what you need to do to stay successful and to maintain that success, okay? Um, so first and foremost, um, getting paid at title. It's hard. It can be very hard sometimes because we work so hard to get these promotions and to get to the next level, you know, and promoting is such a great goal. It's such a great goal. It's, a, it's, it's awesome to have something to work toward, right? Like promoting. Yes, definitely. Like, of course, my next promotion, I want to be a superstar director, right? But I'm not so focused on the actual promotion. I'm focused on everything that I need to get there more so, okay? Because, um, you know, as I've talked about over and over again, you know, I was so hesitant to really aim for star director because I was like, uh, I don't, I don't want to not get paid a title because if I promote, I, I want to get paid at that title. I just busted my tail to get there and now I'm not getting paid at the title. So what, it doesn't even matter. That was all for nothing, right? I want to get paid at a higher percentage. I want to get paid higher percentage off of my downline, my frontline. And the way to do that and make your promotion worth your time and, you, you know, like celebrate yourself and be proud of yourself and have all of that pay off is to get paid at title. So you have to figure out, you know, we've talked about this before, what Kristen was talking about, um, you know, systems and stuff. That is how you're going to be able to maintain. It's by having systems. And, and getting paid at title is by having systems, okay? And we talked about taking action, breaking it down into goals. That is how you're going to get paid at title, is knowing where your PRV is coming from every single month, is to continually build and sponsor, right? all the time. It doesn't end. It's forever. <laughs> we start back to zero every single month. But honestly, just swallow that pill and it, it will be easier moving forward when you just know this is my job description. This is what I have to do. Okay. It could be so much worse. And you know, I, I came live on the team page yesterday to talk about mindset and positivity. And when you just see how much opportunity you have at hand with this business, with your position, um, you know, you'll see how incredibly lucky we are, how many freedoms we have at our fingertips. 
instead of thinking, I don't want to do this every single month. Like I just pulled out all the stops to get these people to join. I just pulled all the stops to get this amount of sales for the month, right? To get paid at title. Now I got to do it all over again. I'm exhausted. And especially if you have a full-time job, if, you, if you're working something other than Sensi, you're going to be over it and Sensi's going to get tossed to the side because you don't feel like it. I don't feel like doing this all over again this month, okay? So getting paid at title should be your first goal every month. Um, how are you going to get there, okay? And you have to look at your numbers. You have to look at your numbers. And we've spoken about this. You know, people come and go and fall off and go inactive. And people that are in it for a full time business and income all of a sudden turn hobbyists. And we're like, we're, we're putting all of our energy and hopes into a few rock stars on our team. And like, they got to do this. Like, they have to do this because. You're so used to them hitting a certain amount of sales every single month, right? And you're relying on them. Like when you're factoring in your, your GWV or your TWV every month, you're like, I know this person will get at least this or this person. So you're, you're like, you're thinking like, okay, I'll get there, right? But what if that person has an off month? It happens. What if that person has some kind of personal um, emergency in their life? I mean, it's their choice and it's their freedom to do whatever they want. And the only thing that you can control is your business. That's why maintaining and being consistent with consistently growing, even if you just sponsored three people last month, okay, now this month, okay? It is a constant thing. Join special is over. I literally saw before my eyes people saying, okay, I'll let you know when the next special is. Okay you know, like throwing their hands in the air. And I was like, I can't even believe it. I cannot even believe it because you know what? You have to think with your mindset, $99 is a steal. It is a steal. I mean, it is. And if you know that you're going to help them get that money back right away, that's what, tell them that I'm going to help you get that money back right away. Okay. But it all starts with mindset. You guys, like it has to be something that you know, you're going to be doing every single month. Okay. And, and, and again, don't focus on the actual amount of people that you're sponsoring. Focus on the amount of people that you're sharing the opportunity with and following up with, because that's where you're going to see the results. Okay. Um, so if you're not getting paid a title, the only thing you need to do, literally the only thing you need to do is grow into your numbers. That's what you need to do to get paid a title. How do you grow into your numbers? Sponsor, build, recruit. That's it. That's it. That's all. That is going to be the answer to almost every one of your problems. <laughs> In Sensi, it's going to be the answer to almost every single one of them. If your, your team is not motivated, they, they don't want to work, keep sponsoring. If you're not getting paid at title, keep sponsoring. If you want to make more money, keep sponsoring. I mean, it goes on and on. Okay. So um, growing into your numbers is all you need to focus on and growing into your numbers just means keep sharing and if you're not seeing the turnaround that you want if you're not seeing um the results that you need to get paid at title if months and months are going by and you're not getting paid at title it means you got to take bigger bolder steps you got to start you got to start sharing the opportunity with more people okay it can't be like I'm following three people around until they join. Because then what if they join? Then you have nobody on the field. Nobody. Nobody's on the bench. Nobody's on the field. That means you're starting over. And that means it could be another few months before somebody joins again. So that's why consistency is absolute key to maintaining. Okay? Um, okay, so think about this too with sponsoring. Think about we're talking about consistency and it you're doing this forever, right? Think about like army recruiters. They never stop recruiting. They never stop, right? Or um, like universities, they never stop recruiting. Sports teams, they never stop recruiting. What would happen if they just stopped recruiting altogether, right? 
people fall off, people get injured, people get too old. I mean, all sorts of circumstances. And what ultimately happens is it falls apart. It falls apart. Okay. You can't rely on, uh, you know, LeBron James to be playing basketball forever because he's not going to be playing basketball forever. So who's going to be the next big star, right? Just to kind of put it into perspective and have like some kind of analogy for you to understand, which I know you understand, but literally they have to, they have recruiters that don't stop. And this is the same thing. It doesn't end. It always has to be consistent. Um, I'm just reading my notes. Okay. And then you, you don't want to, since you don't want to be the only one carrying your team, that's exhausting. That gets super frustrating. You start, even if you don't want to, even if you are a wonderful person, which every single one of you are for a fact, you will start to get frustrated if you are the one carrying your team. And in most cases, right? you probably are the strongest player on your team, okay? Like, think of the people that are under you, right? You probably are the strongest player on your team. But you've got to show them, show, show your team how to do what you're doing. Whatever you're putting emphasis on is what they're going to put emphasis on. Whatever you're thinking about, whatever you're sharing is what they're going to do. You do not want to carry your team. That is not manageable. That's not realistic. Okay. And that's not going to be something that you can do forever to maintain. You just can't. Okay. You're going to exhaust yourself and you're going to pull all the joy, all the fun, like anything that you enjoy about this business, you're going to be sucking that right out. And then goes your motivation, your inspiration, your momentum. I mean, Truly, you guys, this all goes hand in hand, all of it. So you have to think about, right? Like you're, you're carrying your team. You have the highest numbers and you're like, well, why isn't she working? I know she can do this. Like she hit all these numbers like two months ago. Like she can do this. Why isn't she doing it? Let it go. Let it go. Like we said, right? With educating and training that you can help as much as you can. You can offer the tools. You're gonna teach them how to fish, not feed them. You're not gonna chase them around. You know, they are an independent entity from you, right? They have their own goals and dreams and so do you. In one, we can never put our dreams, goals, hopes, wishes into somebody else. You are playing a big risky game in gambling when you do that and it doesn't end well. Because that's an expectation. It's an unfair expectation that they didn't ask for, right? They didn't ask for that. Even sometimes like we do it with our spouses, right? I'm like, I, in my mind, I'm like, I expect you to do this, 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 and this when you get home from work. And like, I haven't even like said it, but I just expect it in my mind. And then when he doesn't do it, I'm like, bull crap, Adam, right? <laughs> and I'm like, he didn't ask for that. He didn't ask for all those expectations, right? There was no clear communication and we, we didn't talk about this, you know, like going back to, do you know what their goals are? You cannot make them you, right? So the only thing that you can do is to help them hit their goals and keep sponsoring, okay? And then you have to show your team how to do the same thing. Because if you look at the compensation plan, okay. Janelle, did you have your hand up or were you just twisting? Oh, okay. Um, so if you look at the compensation plan, you will see that, you know, when you're growing directors, okay, the highest percentage of, you know, like making money off of your generations is going to come from your deeper generations, right? So when you, when you start building a team, like a superstar director, right? They can only make money off of three generations, right? But that, I mean, the other generations under them are still super important because they're feeding into those third, first, and second generations, right? So like 
no matter, like I am my own group, but still, uh, Wicked Wax Sense and Boss and Strong are still in my GWV. You know what I mean? To put that into perspective. And anybody that you guys build, they're still feeding into your group. But so if a superstar director has three generations, they make the most money off of that third generation, which means that compensation plan is built to build deep. Okay? So you've got to have, you got to keep building your front line over and over and over again. And then eventually you're going to create duplication because you're going to identify your leaders. You're going to show them how to do the same exact thing that we're doing. How to, how to run their business, how to help them grow, how to help them become leaders, and then you start building deep, okay? And that's where you're going to see your money. And it happens quick, you guys. Like, it happens really quick, okay? So focus on building your front line, and then you've got to work with your front line and your leaders. No matter where your leaders are, as long as their sponsor, if their sponsor is involved, let them do that. Let them, let them help their people. Okay. But if, if you are like a, a not, if, if you're running a program, if you're doing something and somebody's, I will work with anybody. I'll work with anybody. If they come to me and they want help, I'll work with anybody. But I want you guys to feel empowered as leaders. I want your team to look at you guys as leaders, right? Because it's not going to be duplicatable for me to work with every single person on my team. I can't right? I'm only one person. So you have to identify your leaders, who's working, who's doing what you're doing, right? In your front line. You offer it to them, you teach them how to fish, and you let them grow, okay? So that's how you're going to maintain, you guys. You're going to maintain by going right back into the previous things that we talked about, building and recruiting, educating and training, motivating, inspiring, taking action, this will all come full circle to maintaining. You've got to do it over and over again. Just swallow the pill, come to terms with it, and you're, you're going to be rocking and rolling at it. I promise. Okay? But um, consistency is really what is going to drive this home for you. Okay? So we kept it at 30 minutes. Like, I'm super happy about this. So do you guys have any? Oh, Jess. Yep. Hold on. I, I want to say ahead. something. I want you guys to know, like, we all, like, even though I'm a director, I'm still learning and learning. I, this is where I'm at in my point of my business. My business has boomed. Like I said before, I haven't hit my director's numbers in so long. I don't even think it was the second week of May and I hit my director's numbers because my team is just blowing up. So I'll be added, I figured it out. We added 10 people to my team this month. I am so, I was talking to Colleen about this yesterday. I'm so overwhelmed because I had a team where I knew, even if they weren't my front line, I knew who was the next up for promotion, who was going to be hit and lead, who was going to get certified. I am now at the point where I have no idea what is going on. Like I don't have my little bubble anymore because my team is just growing and growing. So I was talking to Colleen and I'm like, I'm overwhelmed because I like, I do like to send out stuff. Um, I used to be able to like text people like, I want you to shout out your front line because they just hit lead. Like I was able to keep track of everything and I'm not there anymore. And it's a good thing. It's a good thing that I'm not there anymore. But so now my mindset is I have to be, like um, train my leaders that they need to keep an eye on that. Um, just so I have some peace. Like I even wrote on my team page um, yesterday that I'm taking this weekend off because I have people that aren't my front line and like Colleen says, I will help anyone, but I have people messaging, messaging me because their sponsor is not responding right away, which is okay because they're working. So I have people going back and forth, back and forth all day long. So I was like, I need a break because I'm going to get to the point where this isn't fun anymore mm -hmm. and I'm going to get very overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. So I now need to think of a way to train my leaders to look into that of who's going to be the next promotion because I shouldn't be texting people and I shouldn't be reminding people what their front line's doing. They should already have that in the back of their mind because that's what's going to make them money. Um, and they need to, you know, step up. Yeah. Step up to their, their leadership role. So yeah. that I'm at in my business. And I just want you guys to know, like it never stops. Like 
it never stops. And one day your business is going to get here where you're going to be like, who is this on my team? I have no idea. Cause there's so many generations now that like when somebody posts on your team page, you're like, I have to look to be like, is this person on the team? Are they a guest on the page? Like I don't even recognize them. Yep. And you know what? For Jess, for anybody, as you start building a team, like if you have like eight, nine, 10 people on your team, you, you can help every single one of them. Right. And it's, it still doesn't like even affect your day. Right. But it's not duplicatable because what you do with 10, you have to do with 500 someday. And that's not, that's not realistic. So you have to show and create duplication within your business. So whatever you're doing, like whatever you do with your team, they're going to build a team and want to do the same exact thing, right? If you're giving them shout outs or sending them postcards, then they're going to be excited to be a leader. And when they get, get to that point, they're going to want to do postcards. And I've had so many, even some of you reach out to me. Uh, I think it was Christine, right? Did you reach out to me asking about postcards? And she was like, to show her team out, right? And Christine is new in her leadership. And, you know, she was looking just to kind of, you know, like, I'm not tooting my own, own horn. This is not the point at all. But I'm saying, like, if I wasn't putting emphasis, if I wasn't sending those things out, like, if, it, and if Jen didn't do it with me, and Kristen didn't do it with us, like, how would I ever have the idea to do that, right? It's duplication, and it trickles from the top. Jen, Kristen, Colleen, Jess, Janelle, you know, and it goes into our teams. Duplication. Duplication is what is going to drive your money, honey. So like it can't stop with you. It starts with you. Okay. It starts with you. So if you're doing something in your business that's working, share it. You're actually hurting yourself, hurting your team by not as small or ridiculous as you think it is. Share it because even if they're not going to do the same exact thing that you did, all you can show people is how you work your business and what's working for you. And that might inspire them to do their own thing. Okay. Like I hear so many things and then I take what I want out of it and then I put it into action. I don't sit on it and think about it. Right. And think how awesome it would be if I did it. I do it. Okay. I do it. And then if I, if it's not working out right, I tweak it. But like Jess is saying, you, even if you don't think so now, right. And you know what? Jess wasn't getting paid a title. Like Jess at director was struggling to get paid a title. She grew into her numbers. Now it's almost effortlessly. She's hitting, she's hitting that paid a director paid a title. Why? Because of the duplication and because of the growing and the recruiting that's happening in her team. That's why. So now her numbers are just going to get higher and higher and higher. And she's getting paid a title right? Like that's happening earlier in the month now because her size, because she's growing into her numbers. Okay. So trust me, it's going to happen. If it's not happening right now and you, it seems so far fetched for you, trust me, it can happen super quick. Remember it takes one bull to start a stampede. You can sponsor that one rock star. Somebody on your team can sponsor a rock star and it changes your business. It flips your business upside down. And then all of a sudden that person is building and building. And then those people are building and you're like, oh my God, I'm literally 11 generations deep. I don't know these people. And it would be impossible for you to reach out and know every single one of them. So the, all you can do is work with your frontline and your leaders. And if they're like killing it, you reach out to their sponsor or if there's a, a director, right? Like if, if there's somebody on Janelle or Jess's team that I see, cause I'm pulling numbers every, probably three times a month. If I see somebody and I'm like, wow, they are like, they're going to be going somewhere. Right. Well, I'm confident because I know Jess and Janelle work with their team, but if I didn't like see the shout outs and I'm on both of their pages too. So I know, you know, what's, what's happening and they are very active leaders. But if somebody wasn't working with them, I would reach out to the sponsor or the director in between me and them. And I would say, Hey, like this person's killing it. Like, are you seeing these numbers? Okay. You should ask her like what she wants out of this. If she's ready to start building, like you should work closely with her. And if they're like, guys, there's people in this business that aren't interested in a leadership role and they have it at their hands and they're like, I'm not interested. They don't want it. So I, 
I will say to them, okay, well, do you mind if I do then? Because at the end of the day, they're still in my organization, right? And they deserve that. So if their sponsor or director aren't going to work with them, I will. But I'm working with them because they're working and they're, they're, they're showing the signs of a leader, okay? I can't work with every single person. That person is, is triggering my flags, okay? So that's why I'm going to say, hey, look at this person because I'm pulling my numbers. Go ahead, girl. Sorry, I didn't mute myself. Um, so I just have a question. Like, do you think it's better to promote one month, even if like you're not ready for the promotion, and then like grow into your numbers, or wait, like hold off until you like can build yourself, and then um, let it happen sense. organically. Okay, don't hold numbers back. It it can get really tricky because you start getting creative. You're like, I can hold this party off next month. And then I can like double my PRV. And I know that so-and-so has seven parties next month. So this is looking good. Like you really start to like, you know, get creative with where you're placing your PRV and stuff. But listen, for all of you, let it happen organically. If you're going to hit, hit, you know what, if you're, if you still have to grow into your numbers, well, maybe that will motivate you and push you harder. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, just always be working the same hustle all the time, all the time. You know, I do, I know that when it comes down to incentives or when it comes down to promoting, you know, like we tend to push a little bit harder and I get that. I do the same thing, but you should be working like the same level of hustle all month long and doing the same exact things to see the same results. And if you do hit like I didn't want to hit star director. I wanted Jess and Janelle because they deserved it. And like, they were there and they're ready. But I was like, I know I'm not going to get paid a title. <laughs> but that's how I feel about superstar. Like, I don't, like, I was looking at my numbers and I was like, mm, maybe like this month, if I like work like super hard, I could promote to superstar. But then I'm like, I don't want to, cause then I'll never get paid a title. Well, you will. Well, I will eventually, but like not for like a little bit. Well, you could make it happen quicker than you think. Yeah. Yeah. Nicole, that was my biggest, that was my biggest worry, Nicole. I stayed at Star for two years, like a little over two years. And then when I hit Superstar, um, I texted Jess and I'm like, I'm never going to hit to get paid at title again. And she's like, you will, you just got to continue to bill. And that's what I'm starting to do and realize that that's how I have to. I mean, I, I do, Colleen, when you were talking earlier, sorry about the dogs, but um, I felt like you were talking to me exactly about me, the one that's like, keeps my business, keeps my numbers. And I feel like that's how I do with my team. Like I get most of my GWV from my PRV. Yeah. I have a few that just joined me and, or just rejoined that are now starting to, um, get more PRV and so to, to help my numbers along. Yep. But I felt exactly like you were talking to me yep. when you were saying that. I was like, oh my God, that's so me. And that's how I felt like when I hit star, um, superstar, I'm like, I have to do all of this more now to get paid at title. Yep. So but, you bump up your PRV because you know that you need to, you need to, to get, have that to at least get close to your numbers. And get absolutely. Title. And absolutely. you're stretching yourself so thin and it also whether you think of it or not subconsciously you're actually pushing away you know you're recruiting and building because some of the first like if you have super 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 high prv there's definitely sponsoring in those numbers because you know there's definitely people that would that would that you could work with and talk to and share the opportunity with but like you don't want to compromise your numbers because you need them to get paid at title. And you're like, I need this money every month. I, this is a certain amount that I need to get with right. you know, when I get paid. My PRV right now is over 3000. I'm like less than, I don't know, 1,200, 1,012 from getting paid at title, like for GWV. I mean, I know I have a week and a half left, but it's like, I physically got burnt out the other day. I was just like, I couldn't, couldn't even like think about Sensi. I was just yeah. like, and I said it on my team page. I was like, you know, the past two days I've just been not myself in a funk, but 
I mean, I got out of it, but I was just like, I can't do this. I physically can't do this anymore. Mm -hmm. So, Marty, this is where you, I I know who's on your team and what they're doing for numbers because I can look at those. This is where you work with those leaders to show them what recruiting can do for them. So, you need to get your leaders to start recruiting because that's going to put into your GWV. So, you need to figure out a way to show them, like, make sure they, that you know that they understand you keep recruiting and you keep hitting you're going to make more money so you need to get your leaders to stop recruiting mm -hmm. not just you not just you getting prv just not you getting recruits your entire team below you especially your leaders need to recruit mm -hmm. yeah i said that to rachel the other day because rachel is one of my she recruit she joined me then fell off and then joined me again now she's like one of my rock stars on my team and I said that to her, I was like, cause she got a recruit right away. And she did, she's like, I don't even know what to do. And I told her what to do. And then next thing you know, her recruits almost active. And I said, Rachel, if you get her active, I go, you can promote to lead. And then that way I go and I explain to her what, what can happen. And she's like, Oh, okay. I'll just get her. I'll just work with her to get her active. Can I have her call you if I don't understand something? I'm like, absolutely. So it's, I'm trying to get her to get her team, like her, her recruit going. And then to recruit more and then i'm trying to work with the other girls but they're like oh i'm just not ready yet i don't think anyone will join me i was like well let's just try you know hey, I'm Marnie. Like, I can't. yeah uh, like are you doing like all your prv off of follow-up are you having mm -hmm. like parties because i know you're like a party queen right well since i've had the you know we can't leave the house um yeah. i've gotten my follow-up from a few different reasons ways um, this month has been all follow up. Okay. Follow up, and I had bingo. I do my bingo totally different than a lot of other people. I think I do it maybe the same way Janelle does, but I'm not sure. My okay. bingo grew from 14 people, and I had 30 last month. I mean, 30 this month. I have nice. right now. I already have like maybe the 30 that I had last month, and a few more that want to play next month. So yeah, I do follow up. I try to book online Facebook parties now. But that's how I get most of mine online. Um, and I just follow up with my, my best customers. You know? I'm wondering if like, so I know like I'm not, like I'm still new to the recruiting thing. But like, so I just had a bingo night with someone who like came off of my group bingo and had their own with their friends and family. And then we just flipped their party. Like, oh, that's can you great. Get, can you get more of like your 30 people into like, having their own bingo and showing them like talking I'm about how easy it is to like get PRV off of a bingo night. That's like That's a good idea, fun. Michaela. I'm, I'm trying to, to figure out a way to do that. Cause every time I play bingo with them, you know, I, I don't, when I play bingo, I don't like push all the sense. You're like, Oh, you know, like I'll talk about the last few questions. Like, Oh, Monty, what, what can I do with this? And, but during the middle of the bingo, like between games, I'll say, you know, you guys can do this. If you guys want to get a group of friends together, I can do this for you by yourselves. Um, and no one has really bit yet. So I think I'm going to now outreach to a few of them personally and do it. Because I know this yeah. is one girl that does it every month. She's like one of my VIPs. She, um, I think she might do it because she loves Sensi. And so I think I might have her just be like, Kate, let's just get the girls from the neighborhood together. I go and we can just do bingo. So. Right. But yeah, I, uh, I, I just need to, I don't know. I need to stop. I need to do what I need to do to get, you know, to get myself paid at title. But I, I feel like I'm just exhausting myself every month trying to get my numbers. It is. It's exhausting. It life. is exhausting. And like I said, Colleen, and I, you were just talking to me, but I felt like you were talking it's, to it's just me. It's actually common. It's actually common. But you just got to break out of that cycle because you want longevity with this. And you're, you're, you're already saying, you know, it's exhausting. And you go through like phases where you're like, okay, you know, you're, but then it gets old and you're like, I'm freaking tired. And you still work. Like, it's just, yeah. you have to continue to grow your front line, focus on building, building, and then showing the people that are showing up how to do the same. You can't show every single person because every single person is not going to be interested. But the ones that are moving, feed them confidence and tell them, hey, you're walking it right now. Like, what, what do you want to do with this? Let's do it. And you show them exactly what you're doing. 
And yeah. you'll, you'll see the difference, but it's going to be all the time, like all and, the time. And I want to start, um, you know, doing like, sh I do shout outs on the team page on uh, Boston Strong for them. But I think I want to do more, like Rachel has like over 2000 PRV this month. So I think next month I want to send her a card, you know, I want to start doing recognition because I was excited when I got your postcard in the mail saying, you know, congratulations on my promotion. And, and I, I was excited when I got my, um, my gift from Jess. It's just like, you I, see what that does for you. Right. And Absolutely. it does. It, it, that encourages me more like, okay, well this is worth it. Right. And you know, you're like, like I'm not doing it. You're like confirming for them. Like you're, you're doing the right thing. Keep going right. in that direction. Right. And, it's and I think not, that's what I need to start doing for them is yep. making and them feel like that, they're doing. Put a system in place. Jess and I were just talking about this. Like yep. if you're going to do recognition or postcards, it's got to be consistent. Yeah. You know? So incorporate that into your daily systems of like this day is team day. And I, this is yeah. when I sit down and write it all out. And then your post office day, you can do it once every two weeks. It doesn't have to be once a week. I can never get to the post office and I could throw a rock to the post office, by the way. Um, and so, you know, whatever it, you need to do, but have a system in place, even with recognition, you'll see your team grow and flourish you know, with recogn recognition's huge. Um, but um, it is. It, does anybody have any more questions before we sign off? No? Okay. All right, you guys. I'm going to be uploading everything today. <laughs> Nicole. <laughs> I see you. You're right beside me on my screen. Um, so I love you guys. If you have questions after the fact, reach out. Anybody and everybody will help you out. So enjoy your weekend. I love you guys so much. And um, get some rest, will you? Enjoy the weather. Peace. Bye. 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 Bye.